हेलो वेलकम टू एपिसोड थर्टी एट ऑफ सिंपल कैन इट्स थ्री इयर एनिवर्सरी स्पेशल एपिसोड We have uh, the most number of guests. Uh, Karan, is there an issue? With no, no, it's okay. Please continue. Please continue. <laughs> We have the most number of guests we've ever had in a Simple Kid episode. So I'll <laughs> I'll start in uh, order of height. We have Shamik, uh, who's back. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Shamik is back, and then we have Karan. Karan's good to be here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Karan's back after long. Lot of people uh, kept asking where's Karan, where's Karan, because it's very hard to get. So Karan. The last episode was 2021, dude. That yeah. I I came on the thing. That's what. Insane. So people miss you a lot. So they were like, and you don't appear on anything else. So it's very sweet of Karan to come. Mm-hmm. And then I think it's Prashasti, right? She's taller than you. What's your height, Prashasti? <laughs> yeah. Let's just stick to yeah. me being taller. Yeah. No, what Prashasti. is your height? <laughs> five three and a half. Five. Six. Five and a half. What? Whoa. What? Yes, guys. I'm so sorry. I would like to apologize to our audio audience. listeners. <laughs> <So> huge. <laughs> Why victory. did we? Yeah. Facile. Yeah. Okay. Can we not say the half? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So five now. three and five five is still five six. Considerable. Five six. Five six. six they're almost maybe. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. So Shreeja actually. Shreeja Chaturvedi is here. Centimeters, we're both there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What centimeter? Uh, I don't know. One Someone three. multiply it. One sixty five. Oh. No, no, it can't be one sixty-five. <laughs> Shrija is doing some math. It's right okay. Now. I'm good with the five, yeah. five, and the five-four. Okay. So we have Shrija. Uh, she's also back. Thanks so much for coming back. Thank you. Always a uh, fan Thank favorite. You. And then, uh, of course, uh, Gangubai of uh, Coffee City. <laughs> 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 I don't know why I said that. I just knew that Prasasti would laugh. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh, Basically, Alia, yeah. but I don't know if that's a good. Nice thing about this all day. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> next Sunday, she's like, "What do you think, Kenny Mint?" <laughs> There are so few women-led movies in Bollywood, so it's the only name that Thank came up in my mind. It's a compliment. <laughs> yeah, generally. Yeah, yeah. The Alia Bhatt of uh, Kabli C. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, uh, Precious C. Precious C is back. Uh, And then we have Kenneth Sebastian, yes, who, against okay. all odds, has got this podcast running for three years. Congratulations, Kenneth. Thank you. Actually, thank you for bringing that up, Karan, because I have an announcement. So, Simple Ken is going to get its own channel because I have, yeah, have uh, run out of money. I've been producing this for three years, and uh, I think if it has its own channel, it's easier to pitch for uh, nice. producers. Awesome. So, uh, unfortunately, it's going to become a little more mainstream. I want to apologize. It's not going to be cool anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this Now, is the, the last cool episode. It's the last cool Ken. episode. Oh, this man. is cool. <laughs> <laughs> So wow. before, been, if you like something, you have to go to a forty-five minute episode and scroll. Oh, so now we'll. Data Sky, it's on Data Sky. It's on. So he's called corporate. <laughs> New Simple Ken on ZTV. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's called Simple Ken Podcast. It's on. Uh, it's on YouTube only, so oh. you can watch it there. Any, anyway, but yeah, three years, man, three years. Uh, uh, I sm- yeah. Running against all boards. <laughs> <laughs> a handshake. And uh, yes, <laughs> against, <laughs> against all pods. <laughs> That's true. So uh, Valentine's Day is just uh, a gimmick. Uh, so we thought <laughs> might as well use it. Yeah, we're all wearing red. Yes. All different shades of red except Kanan. Mm-hmm. I don't have red. So he's brought the a rose. The reddest of them all, black. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's just a lot of red. red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dried blood red. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, nice. Uh, so this we have some questions because all my four friends here we uh, have very different outlooks <coughs> and attitudes to love. So I was like, must uh, brain picking will happen. Mm. So I'll first ask the question and uh, I'll have a supporting question which is mine, and we can uh, just uh, debate. Sure. And obviously, there's only one right answer. Of course, <laughs> yeah. always. So this is from Geetanjali Pendiala. Now. This is a young child. I saw the picture. Mm. So, so this is very like teenage 
vibe okay you'll know when i'm when anyway. why do we love i think it's a side effect of evolution oh my god people who could love could build communities stay in them longer hence we are successful in living long lives by helping each other and of course reproduce more so nature selected for them and here we are tell me what you think about this thought okay so, so they gave the answer <laughs> the yeah question. yeah <laughs> so obviously it's a but the question i want to ask is even more immature than this uh, is uh, <coughs> do you guys honestly in your hearts of heart believe in uh, love <laughs> or you guys have uh, rationalized ki nahi nahi this is just how human beings are and uh, we're just over romanticized uh, de- codependency and it's okay what to do that's how we are mm. is oh man so what is your genuine is it general love or romantic love that we talk about <coughs> good question general love as in love towards uh, animals towards generals <laughs> towards <laughs> generals <laughs> 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 i'm a big fan of all of you yeah yeah my next show yeah go to love on the other hand <laughs> <laughs> no but public. no i yeah. think i'm talking about uh, Rom- romantic, romantic love. love yeah Hmm. I didn't By the way, everybody doesn't have to answer because then it'll take four days. So <laughs> oh, if you have a strong feeling about it, you can start off, and I'll go to the next one. I think I I believe in love and uh, like genuinely, heart of heart. Yeah, I think I have. I think I've done enough experiment. What is what is so Karen funny already, about? Can <laughs> already disagree. No, no, I don't. I this when you said I believe in love in front of a mic, I was like, this is like the act one of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so she's like, I believe in love. You know, against all odds, love will come. Then outside, she goes downstairs and she calls her boyfriend. She's like, Vikram, you're supposed to pick me up. Where are you? Vikram is like, sorry, babe. And in the background, you can hear a Sneha's voice. Is that Sneha? <laughs> no, no, babe, bye, 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 bye. And she's like, what the fuck? And that day, she'll break up from Vikram. And then, oh. even though she believes in love, her belief in love is broken. And the the journey of the movie is yeah. to find belief in love find again. Yeah. And, find she's an unlikely source. And she's an author that's known for writing books about her. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Yes. I think. Yeah, that's how my life has been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but sorry to cut you off. Please yeah. continue. What no, but I was say? actually the whole thing is that just to say. I was saying this sorry <laughs> that uh, like I. <laughs> you were saying that I'm an author. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I think. Uh, there is this you know you <clears throat> when you're young you believe in love because everyone believes in love and then you don't because things happen and then you find your own way into it so i think uh, i think yeah this is, now when i believe in love is because i i think i feel good about believing in love and yeah this is how it works for me you're not doing it because you know that you can't uh, escape it or <clears throat> no you think it's like this nice sweet magic it's like thing. i don't i don't have the answer but i feel that you need to believe in some stories and oh. this is the story i like to believe in like Got after it. a number of experiments i'm like at the gate yeah mm-hmm. anybody academically i'm poorly informed on the subject because the moment precious said romantic love i'm like there's like four books about love that people keep recommending that i've never read you know all about love but what are you saying you have lived a life Huh? You've lived a life. I know, but the, all this uh, academic classifications that we are not making that people in the comments get very angry about like how can you not discuss uh, this <laughs> oh. uh, specific difference. Actually, I think the correct question is what is the definition of love then? Romantic love. Oh my love. god. Mm. Right? Uh for us put it in a lower third. <laughs> yeah. This is like this is what <laughs> I, I think I'm assuming says. it's when you uh unconditionally accept somebody in your life mm. and you love them overlooking their uh positives and negatives and you you just love them it's yeah. it's just uh, there's no conditions there's no um, ups and downs there's no it's just it's irrational it's irrational sorry irrational. that's uh, Yeah, is isn't that what we are talking about? It doesn't have to be irrational. I think it's not irrational that you you basic you accept someone how they are, and irrespective of conditions, you offer them love, and then you feel uh, sympathetic joy, like you find joy in their joy. Uh, you feel a lot of compassion for them, and but I feel like this is something you can feel outside of a romantic context also. It's yeah. not necessary that it has to be in romance. Yeah, bro. No, I, I like a meditation a, boys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> meditation. That's our upcoming podcast. <laughs> 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 meditation boys. No, uh, no, I. It's, 
I just I that's a, sorry that's part two of this movie yeah. <laughs> self I remember self love like uh-huh. I feel joy in my joy <laughs> <laughs> empathetic love this is why uh, by the way this is why I wanted Shamik and Kamen they run away from this topic so hard oh man you I'm just a, saw they were like oh he's a joke boy now man <laughs> I'm like fly. I can't take a straight uh, yeah, no. I can't say words into this mic which yeah. don't sort of deviate there's a reason the I selected this but I, I do yeah. think one thing uh, you said unconditional I don't think it's ever unconditional is it really no I mean unconditional because yeah. the whole point of love hmm. is that uh, like I'll give an example of my parents hmm. yeah, it amazes me that my dad is so patient and uh, understanding of my mom's she can't assimilate in most environments my dad hmm. can and it just boggles my mind like how he's so like he ne- I've never heard him ca- complain even once mm. about mm. I've tried to be like that are, are you upset that mom's he's mm. like no this is how mom is and it's fine so i feel like that's love where you could be like you know you're being unreasonable but my wife like but she's my wife and i my i love her and i accept her so mm. what we are talking about like if it's unreasonable it kind of comes under love like for example the worst case scenario is if your partner gets sick and they paralyzed all your requirements of love are gone they can't talk to you they can you can express love to each other but you still yeah love them so that's so it ha- has to kind of be unreasonable Fair. also but that you will do for your family also right like your parent or your sibling if ha, that, but that is so i think more easier cuz you it's a blood relative yeah, but this is yeah. a choice you made yeah yeah, yeah. like uh, unconditional in the sense like blood relations ke sath there's a lot of duty in the duty ah, yeah, karna padta hai but in the sense ki like you are constantly seeing what they do for you yeah so you want to do the same for them so there's this like this is a random person you chose off the street yeah, man yeah like yeah you, you have no <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is that but you you don't you have no idea what that person will bring to your life yeah. but you still yeah it's a bad deal basically yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. but you still yeah you still want that person yeah so that's yeah So it's clear now what love we're talking about. Okay, so we've defined it. Yes. In whatever terms, <coughs> someone can summarize. Yeah. So we are debating now the existence of that. How do we believe in it? Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Yes. I yes. think so. Yeah. yeah. I think there is somewhere deep inside there is that belief. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Oh, Shamik, thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> that's all I will say. Yeah. That's quite. No, I I to fully believe in all the full art wala love. Art wala. Je- poetry, Bollywood. Like line, oh, okay. <laughs> What? Forty four nine wala love. What is that? Oh God. Yeah. It's a Hindi art. Art. <laughs> Come on. Jesus. Keep up. Oh my oh God. My God. I felt bad about my against eight, all eight parts. Eight is infinite. <laughs> like love. Am I right? Exactly. That's what you were trying to see. You brought yeah. it back to. You're on its side. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know when it starts. You don't know when it ends. I, I think for every answer. We need one of Kanan's answers so Shamik can talk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks. Just keep doing this. No problem, bro. No, but it's like he, I, even though me. Kanan gives out that vibe, he's very like romantic type. Like he writes poetry and all. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. he acts all cool. Writing poetry is not inherently romantic. Of course it of is. Of course it is. It's an insane thing. It's like yeah. the, <laughs> why would anybody <laughs> rhyme two yeah. sentences? Like, yeah. Unless you were fucking loving. Yeah, I feel like normal it. communication cannot. express what you feel you need to you need you need a little bit of crazy for that yeah. yeah and love love is needed for the crazy like if you want nice. things to rhyme you listen to a song or if you want to communicate something you talk yeah. poetry is this it occupies this beautiful place in the middle of those things yeah but it doesn't mm. have to take the form of you know so you're talking about love more. actually yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah Ishad. but uh, shamik yeah. also shamik i do i also write poetry But uh, like, I yeah. use numbers. <laughs> I don't use words. It's, I'm very uh, binary poetry. I'm a big fan. Yeah, just with two numbers, he yeah. can make you cry. <laughs> yeah, especially eight. Eight is my favorite. Eight, eight is, is the one triple zero. In Maybe at Beautiful. the forty minute, forty minute mark, Shami will open up. <laughs> I'll just do a poem. How about that? I'll just go all the way. Uh, yeah. So nice. So I think uh, we. Love, love. I think I'm also obviously love. Kind of. The question I think specifically was: Is this a quirk of evolutionary biology? And like, I'm a little bit confused. Are we evolutionary biologists? <laughs> no, I mean yeah. that's the elephant in the room. Like, you can add that to any yeah. argument. Like, 
Yeah, there's a temptation to think about things in terms of biochemistry, but why must we? Like little nail, nailistic <laughs> yeah. approach yeah. it is that. Not yeah, but no, there is uh, for the purposes of understanding. Of course, like some people exist in the world who have to think about the world like that. Of course, but if yeah. you're not in that domain, it has sometimes the side effect of making things seem mechanical. Yeah, and trivialized. And they don't yeah. have to be. Yeah, they don't have to. Yeah, be. like if you step out of it and then you're being all objective about love, then you're not giving the answer that I yeah. guess this person is looking for anyways. It's yeah, uh, objectivity yeah. can't include. There's this background mystery underneath everything. Like you can say biochemistry or biology, but there's this sub subterranean mystery that exists. Yeah, mm. uh, and so maybe uh, that, that's what love is. That's yeah. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I usually like to call that things. I know this is how it is, but I feel bad. Like that's the difference. Like I know the logic of it, but I feel bad. Yeah. What to do? Yeah. Like so, mm. you can have all the textbooks about evolution and. I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel about this. Ultimately, your yeah. life is the experience of your life. Yeah, right? yeah. Feel bad. That means you're like, oh no, dopamine coming. Okay, yeah. feel bad. Yeah. Feel bad. Yeah. yeah, and you feel bad about feeling bad, like despite knowing. Oh, all that's this. the worst. Yeah. No, that's yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Feeling no, bad, sure. like fucking. You're feeling bad again. What a piece yeah. of shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what is this area? Like pussy. Been, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't even feel good. <laughs> Suck. Oh, <man. laughs> Sh Shrija saying pussy is a special place in the internet. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Reddit uh, subthread of it. All the time, Shrija said pussy. R slash Shrija saying pussy. <laughs> One post. Yeah. But feel like a pussy. Like, come on, what the fuck? I was supposed to be unaffected by this. Mm. Yeah. Chi. Chi. Yeah. But that's why it's amazing. No, you're like, yeah. Arey, yeah. 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 Exactly. Huh? Love to fully. So That's this beautiful. this question is um, uh, by I Insani Manav. Wow. He says, uh, "Hey man, love simply can. It's the best. Want to ask you? Can you talk a bit about dating in the workplace and why it's the worst?" <laughs> so <laughs> again, it's kind of a loaded question. Loaded yeah. as hell. Loaded as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I love the question. He just went for it because usually people take like twenty lines to ask something. He just went for it. Uh, it seems like. It possibly someone who has had a bad experience yes. yeah. asking this question, yeah. perhaps. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I a mean, victim of an HR violation has <laughs> written in. Is it still? Is it still uh, a violation? I don't know. I don't think so. Is Some it? companies you have to declare your relationship. Yeah, status. Oh. and yeah. if you're reporting to your boss and falling in love with the boss, then they're oh, like, yeah. uh, "Excuse me." Conflict of oh. interest yeah. and all That's that. That's like another step. It's like one is telling your parents, others is like we have to tell HR. Yeah. We have to yeah. tell HR. Yeah. yeah, to make it serious. Yeah. Make it very serious. Yeah, but I think uh, obviously separate teams. But if team merge हो जाएंगे तो नहीं नहीं मतलब वो लोग if your teams get married then you can't it's a step step kids can't get married because parents but I think most offices are very like very open about this they they figure out a way to arrange you in a way no also talking to audiences comedy show I feel it's happening a lot yeah I mean I mean where else where else do you meet people that's true It, college was the last like frontier, mm. yeah, and after that it's the workplace. Yeah, yeah. Because it's we don't I think go out as much in places where people yeah. are of the same age and same liking and. Correct. Well, like I can't understand how people say I've made a policy of not dating in the workplace. That's like cutting eighty percent of your chances. Mm. Arbitrary figure, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like. Like spend eighty percent, meet eighty percent of people at yeah. your workplace. Yeah, yeah. Like, bang on, <laughs> bang on. Yeah, twelve out of eight people, <laughs> you meet one hundred people. Yeah, in an office. Yeah. Then twenty, you pass on the way yeah. home. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what's crazy nowadays? Because of, after the pandemic, it's a lot of work from home. Yeah. And so less people are now having to meet people in their homes. Yeah. yeah. And they live alone. You can't date your difficult. mom, no? It's, yeah. <laughs> it's very tough. Yeah. That's not. It's a whole new can of worms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who yeah. was employed last? When when was your last job job? Twenty nineteen, I, I quit. Twenty nineteen, hmm? hmm? I quit. Twenty nineteen beginning. He's the most recent quitter. Recent, I guess. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And, uh, and yeah. how long was that job? Oh, five five years. Five years. So, yeah. Romance workplace. No, I I was, uh, but I used to. Sure, mate, I was an employee. <laughs> He's like a what? <laughs> <laughs> like a god? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I, I I'm saying I was the employee who was trying to. Spend time outside the workplace as much as possible. So I divided enough time to outside workplace. Yeah. So any romantic 
anything of that nature happened outside you also have to like your workplace to like the people in the correct. workplace correct. Right? Correct. if you like this sucks i suck they all suck then but then won't yeah. won't that person be a glimmer of hope like something you look forward to i mean of course it happens but i'm just yeah. saying i i understand this that i've been in workplaces where i'm like yeah to re ho sakta i just i i hate this place they hate this place yeah. and both the <laughs> most people here are just figuring out a way to get out of this place oh. so i mean this is not the best place for love to thrive in sense yeah. you you are not you not liking where you are. you don't respect this okay. so you don't respect that also right okay. so i think in a workplace where you all mm. like you are you like what you do hence you like what they do also the yeah you or you need to find some common ground yeah. find someone else who you realize is like you yeah and they think like about work this workplace bestie. the same way yeah, yeah. And then that could become something but i've never in this workplace it has never happened i feel chamak is so proper that even when he eats food he doesn't like dal touch the rice <laughs> <laughs> pickle touch the i know dal. man it's like, just hey. the appearance is like this but you see my plate it's a mess it's, it's absolutely <laughs> disgusting don't judge a person by their plate yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a mallu thing by the way i think when uh, in kerala we are very <clears throat> pro mixing stuff Huh. on on the plate and whenever i go to chennai mm. i do that and i get like looks like what are you doing so the, i recently i was in chennai and uh, we ordered breakfast yeah. and i said hey can you get the cop- coffee first he's like no <laughs> <laughs> yeah you eat this and then you have coffee you <laughs> mad man <laughs> it's like in italy after you if you ask for cappuccino after 11:30 they'd be like but why yeah <laughs> cappuccino time is over for you <laughs> <laughs> you don't have cappuccino <laughs> but you know ours are are, are close <laughs> Oh, okay so i guess that's that yeah so but, but why is it the worst why is why it the worst? worst why is it the worst <laughs> no, he, he really wants us to agree with him and <clears throat> yeah. this is i think objectively it makes sense because <laughs> it's potentially <laughs> quite the worst <laughs> yeah jab break up hoga to break up hoga to but even if break up nahi hua then you carry your tension or joy into the work correct correct and you know there it's one part of work that you can never leave if it makes sense you never get to be free from work because work follows you home in every way it follows <laughs> Everyone who like what Prashasti was saying people who work in your job are a reflection of how you feel about that job they can be yeah. they can seem to be oh, so yeah. if you hate your job everyone who works there seem like particles of hate yeah okay? <laughs> like yeah. if your job is shitty like individual shit is <laughs> you you never uh, attempt to like approach anybody at work when you were working I- I think I went on a few dates with someone, but that was after I was on notice period already. Like I was already quitting. Oh, nice. And then not counted. Safe. Yeah. Then that's, that's why you. Safe work. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Shijay, you also worked somewhere. No? I worked somewhere, but I like people that I didn't approach. But that's my general approach in life. I don't approach anyone. I love like. <laughs> no, no. Obviously, no. If someone approached you at workplace, you would shoot it down just because they're work calling. No. There was no such. But do we classify? workplace as like what we do as yeah of course workplace. this is also yeah. workplace yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah yes because you'll run into them yeah then And, yeah well that change <laughs> yeah. that changes everything no one asked yeah. you <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to cut that out? Shreya, just let's let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and finish this. No, it it could be a joke. What would you like to say, Shreya? Everyone's nicely like office. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe work for a second. Do you want to get into my yeah, life? Just, Is comedy the LLC? Of this <laughs> I was exploring every facet of this. Are you trying to say you're dating another comedian, Shreya? <laughs> If so, who is that? <laughs> Do you talk about will, it? We will run like a like a pictures quickly of all the male comics and this is top. <laughs> We're on different teams though. It's fine. He's yeah, on yeah. He's doing observational observation. <laughs> yeah, he's on a different team. Oh, he was season 3. You know this? This is so much fun for the audience. <laughs> Imagine yeah. if your uh, comic boyfriend also did like your style where he's like hey so i went and then you'll be like you know that's not very funny <laughs> like what do you mean <laughs> oh, yeah yeah, yeah. but it's a cut to me it's a cut to me i'll i'll cut it out if you if you do i think she's okay no what like her final let's not let assume shit when she sees yeah. it yeah. Yeah. yeah anyway uh, but do you have anything to add No, actually. No. <laughs> let's, let's. It's better if I don't. Yeah, anymore. it's better if I just shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, what do you want to talk about? Workplace romance that is happening to you has happened to you in the past. Yeah. Oh, no, no, but like I, I'm just generally saying, like even when 
I wouldn't date anyone in the workplace. I hadn't. I was open to the idea always. Like, yeah. I was always yeah. like, whenever people said, "Oh, yeah, please, comic ko tumhe date karna ya." Don't date in your work. How is it? Before she started comedy, comic ko tumhe date. Gross. But yeah. yeah, so I think I also feel that all these theories ki hai karna chahiye nahi karna chahiye. It's so rare to feel a connection with someone that when you feel yeah, it, you're like, yeah, it'll just fall. Uh, all that I'm falls fully aside. in your yeah. school. Because yeah. I think if you love is such a so connection, what if they're in jail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Connection is connection. Yeah, because it's so hard to meet somebody that you vibe with. So it's okay. I feel it's high, love and relation is high risk, high reward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every, anything that gives you so much joy will give you equally or more tremendous amount of pain. Uh, this I first learned as a child while having a dog, and Aww. my dog gave me so much joy. And when he died, it took me four years to get over it. Mm-hmm. But I'm just like, that's just how it is. You want that much joy? Yeah. That's yeah. the pain you yeah. have to go through. So yeah, what to do? Find that. Yeah, and also nowadays you can change jobs. People change jobs all the time. <laughs> exactly. It's not a big coming, deal. But, yeah. I mean, it is in a way. But. It's not like earlier when people used to work in the steel authority of India. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm going to be here for 25 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm a steel guy. I'm a steel guy, dude. Also, yeah. I need to retire from steel and get that steel <laughs> pension, dude. Yeah. yeah. So you. I guess I'm. Gale, go to the gas authority. Yeah. Where did I meet Gale? Mein. Okay. So this question is damn cool. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Because I also have an awesome follow-up question after that. So, Javi Adhav says, "What's your favorite way to receive affection? Everyone likes to receive love uniquely. For me personally, hearing kind words from someone I care about mm. can make a huge difference to how I'm feeling, and often gives me the courage to keep going. And also through physical touch, I love a warm hug as it feels comforting and reassuring. But the question I want to ask you is, what is your <coughs> hypothetical?" dream relationship it can be fully unrealistic and impossible but right now if you could have a, you could just create it out of thin air mm. oh if i had a relationship like this man i'm in like this this perfect concoction which is different for everybody what would it be it doesn't have to be a uh, like <coughs> reasonable and it just can just be this unrealistic kind of combination like they have to be They have come for all my shows, <laughs> 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 which is inhuman. But mm. <laughs> maybe with like an astronaut. Astronaut. Yeah. Sorry, I was just starting it <laughs> while everybody else is thinking. Like, Wait, I would just say some. Like, you're yeah. answering with the question we used to ask as kids: What do you want to be when you grow up? Yeah. Well, who do you want to be with? with oh, yeah. this is a new like you. Astronaut. You want to be with someone who's like. Work In conversation. Space. Is space. <laughs> you are you saying you want some space? <laughs> you, I want some space in my relationship. That's ideal. Uh, <laughs> our timings don't match because yeah. she's moving over the earth at fifty thousand kilometers oh, per man. second. Oh man, we're going too fast. She's touring a lot these yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. And when she comes to earth, I'm like, I'm actually going to. But yeah, that's my Middle East too. Oh, nice. Uh, um, But yeah, is it somebody you want to be with who's like work conversation just blows your mind? Like you want to be with someone you admire? Yeah, I think mm-hmm. um, this again. Like people will get so mad that we haven't read the theory about this. The first question that the first part of this guy's question was about love languages, yeah. which is very yeah. po- so popular. Very. Days. I was just going to say love languages. Yeah, it was a very fringe yeah. subject a few years ago, yeah. and now it's like everyone will straight up ask to your face, like, "What is your love language?" Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, Which I think there are five, right? Uh, acts of service, words of affirmation, physical touch, gifts. bank transfer, is gifts, <laughs> <laughs> gifts, gifts, and gifts. there's one word, whatever. Yeah, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Should I? Should I? If we don't have a genie, no, it's fine. Oh, actually, there are four options only. Five. Well, I'll, I'll Google. Which this. is my so, main problem with it. Yeah, is that this is not. It's not a result of a scientific study. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah. I'm like, where is your correct? Yeah, this is like reverse engineering. Yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, it seems true, and it's mostly true. But yeah. I'm like, don't then say this. These are the only. Someone's been like broadly they fit into these categories, <clears throat> I guess. Yeah. But it's uh, words of affirmation, acts of service, gifts, quality time, physical touch. These are five. There's seven also, but that's boring. Huh? Huh, I think basic. Yeah. Quality time is a great option to choose. I feel <laughs> safe because it's defined differently by everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> I time. think a nice, good minute with my loved one. Is, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But pure yeah, quality. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about quantity. It's about quality. Um, hmm. 
What's the question? What's the what's the perfect? <laughs> wow, guys, you're choking. <laughs> is is this it's too heavy of, a question? No, it's kind of a big question. It's a very yeah, funny yeah. question. No, okay. So so I'll I'll, st- I'll start things off. Um, actually, you start things off because you're married. Yeah. So yeah, uh, for for me, the the best hypothetical marriage hmm. would be I have hundred percent assurance hmm. that this person will never break my trust, hmm. and this person won't die. <laughs> like. Mm. So like, like one of the immortals. Yeah, you want yeah, an immortal. The, I want an titles. immortal person, and one of the where I could, I think, like breaking trust is just unbearable for me. Hmm. Uh, and it's like it's again, it's a high risk, high reward. Like you can't control a person, but I wish you could. <laughs> <laughs> where it's like, hey, you. So your ideal relationship is so you can control someone yeah. Yeah. who will never die. Yeah, like you'll always <laughs> love me, right? Like yeah. always, they always yeah. say yeah. what you want them to say. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, not even that. It's okay. that's fine. They oh. could be annoying. They could like not. Okay. But it's like you'll always like consider me as your partner, right? Like yeah, no matter what. That's happens. a fair yeah. expectation. But so I mean, people if grow out of love. Stops loving you. It's you can't blame them for that. Right? No, but that, it's like the biggest tragedies in life for me that yeah. people. I, I've experienced it. I've fallen out of love with yeah. somebody I really care about. Yeah. And I had no control over it, yeah, and exactly. that frightened yeah. me. I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna happen to me one day. Yeah. Mm. Where uh, it might. Yeah, yeah, because and it, you could be, and that person didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Absolutely nothing wrong. Mm. Mm. Uh, maybe some stuff wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, it was quite scary. I think when I didn't even realize I fell out of love. So so that that's would be my like ideal relationship where you just this person like don't worry, even if like you get you get uh, dementia and you can't remember my name, I'll be there. Yeah. Like that stuff and don't die. Dying is just ruins all your plans. Dying's the worst. Yeah, yeah. just ruins it. Like you, especially if you have kids and all, and like the mom dies is just it's too much. Uh, so that is my perfect. Yeah, I think this trust kind of fixes all my insecurities. Also, like one big thing I had was I could never be vulnerable in front of my partner. Mm. I always thought that is very unattractive to women. Uh, from my limited experience, I think I've never experienced a good relationship. Where if I became vulnerable, they were like, "That's okay." I think it was always seen as a negative. Hmm. That oh, this I thought you were put together. What hey, is this? Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yeah, what is this <laughs> whining? <laughs> yeah, ro ra hai. Yeah, yeah. Again, this yeah. is my limited experience. Yeah, but I think with Trace, like I've experienced that. Yeah. Where I was like, oh, I can, I can show my tatty side, and you don't think I'm not cool anymore. Hmm. So that. So then, but that like hundred percent, I want. Yeah. Like if tomorrow, for example, like I lose everything, would you still like see me as the same person? So that shit, mm-hmm. that would be my. Nice. Yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for uh, <laughs> being a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just kill the wife? <laughs> no, but this question deserves an answer. Right? It deserves an answer. Yeah, um, is this how much you're willing to open up? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm just shocked. Precious, you not answered yet. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because you thought so much about this dude. I yeah, I'm still thinking. Was uh, yeah. you are you you stay? She's first. like, I'll close. You guys <laughs> yeah, stay with your. You She's do like, one minute of your shift. I'm gonna yeah, headline this question right now. She yeah. probably has the best yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so <laughs> she's like, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> So like you say it and I'll save it. Yes, I'll yes, save yes, this yes. whole thing. Yeah. I know Shamil. She would probably say something. She would like, oh, ये तो मुझे भी लगता है. कैसे क्या करें? If this was a lineup, Shamil would come up and be like, I would like alive. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing five minutes part. Yeah. 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 Alive and female. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean uh, it's not gifts. I know that. <laughs> My love language. <laughs> that much. Oh, you're not a gift. It's not gift. It's not gifts. I. I I'm not. I get. I get weirded out by too much rece- receiving too many gifts. Mm-hmm. It's something about no. I, I. I don't know. It takes me to a weird place. What you said about uh, being, being able to be totally yourself. Because some there's a version of you that only that person sees. Uh, being totally comfortable, being that person in front of them, and feeling like uh, they don't judge you for who you really are. That's probably the main thing. I, yeah. I would uh, say. Um, Ideal relationship. Don't get gifts. Don't get judgment. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, the gift of no judgment <laughs> is what oh, I accept. Perfect. Nice. Thank you. क्या बोला? Thank you. 
Okay, I'll say it now. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you close. I don't have an answer. No, yeah. I, I don't. Okay, I know you close. Other people have answers. Yeah, you're closing here. Uh, headlining. I, I there's also like the other side to this love language thing is like how do you express affection? Yeah. Not how do you. So you, sometimes it's different for people. Like they express affection a different way, and they like to receive affection a different way. Mm-hmm. I really like giving gifts. <laughs> oh yeah. I really enjoy it. Not a good match. <laughs> I love buying shit for people. <laughs> okay. Like fuck, look what I got you. Yeah. yeah. But not necessarily receiving gifts so much. Okay. And uh, this, I think, an ideal relationship is the traits I value have remained pretty constant. It's kindness first, and then intelligence second. And intelligence, preferably uh, more intelligent than me, is what I mean by intelligence. Okay. I like to look up to people. And be like, wow, mm. you know this also crazy. <laughs> nice. Like that's why you said astronaut. That's why I said uh-huh. astronaut yeah. because I'm like, wow, you know how you know rocket science. Yeah, <laughs> That's and, insane. and you're literally looking up in space. On yeah. Yeah. Where yeah. are they right now? It's not literally <laughs> astronaut, but someone you know, any kind of intelligence is not necessarily academic. But you know, whatever way you yeah. choose to define intelligence, if someone's more capable than I am. But I've also been told that this is uh, not the right way to look at things. Like you shouldn't. But you feel bad. Or raise people. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's what do you feel? Yeah, I know, yeah. but it's not like ideally you don't want to, you know, elevate someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to have a, uh, a relationship on the level card. And then finally, I would like to be with someone I share uh, common interests with. That's, yeah. yeah. It's one of those things that's hard to come by, dude. You, b- you would think b- I have very common interests, but that's the thing I don't think you do. You have very specific interests. Okay, fine. <laughs> that's <laughs> what. <laughs> no, because you are like... I mean, we're all very eccentric. I don't yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, to add to what you're saying, sometimes you are with someone and you feel like they are making. Ad- if you feel that they're adjusting to your interests, yeah, then it's not that doesn't. You want someone who like yeah, it's naturally yeah. happening. And vice versa. You know? Yeah, and of course the other yeah. way around. Why did he say kindness? Like, what is your definition of wait, of kindness? Like you said that that's that's the first thing you said. Well, there's a lot of people in the world who their first priority is. Uh, um, doing like helping on other people, like uh, the philosophy. The philosophical basis is I forget what the term is called, but uh, the idea is to relieve someone's suffering, not so that it benefits you, but because it is suffering. And when you see that in people, and people who there are some people who really embody that, yeah. and uh, I don't know, it's you. They it's have a turn on. There's something you just want to be around people like. Yeah, that. yeah, and that I, is inspiring. They have some sure. subconscious raise they shoot out of their heart. Then you're like, can I just? Just can just yeah. sit in this room <laughs> yeah. and uh, you know bask in this kindness. True. And also aspirational quality, and also it yeah. reminds you like, oh, I can I can also be kind. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's good too. Yeah. What else is worth doing as a good use of your time on the planet, unless before you go to space? Yeah. yeah. Is uh, yeah. So I think as a human value, I value kindness a lot. So kindness was also if you met someone really smart and they're fucking mean, <laughs> that's not worth anything. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I mean like most reasonable people are not mean. So, but when you say yeah, kindness, I know. Yeah. Yeah. you can be mean in many ways, right? Mm. Like without meaning to be, you could be mean to people and uh, how you kindness. are could be perceived as mean by people. Like she's just damn mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But she enjoys it. No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But because it's so easy to be indifferent. Which is what yeah. I choose to be, which which is why when someone's kind and like just philanthropic and all, it's just crazy. All like wow, <laughs> wow. Like, yeah. you you choose to be this yeah. without even thinking about it. Yeah, I just thought to reject the idea. <laughs> <laughs> so it, that's, yeah. Do you want to add to the ideal relationship? Ideal relationship, yeah, is like a conversation. <laughs> Yeah, actually a funny, funny conversation. Actually, my love language I'm realizing is jokes, is words. Mm. Okay. <laughs> like words, any like, uh, like a nice good morning message, or like a wow, like wow, he found. Itte din baad bhi isne naya tarika dhoond liya bolne ke liye that he loves me. Wow, that's crazy. Oh. Mm. That's crazy. Someone who's writing new ideas all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Who every day is brainstorming like. <laughs> <laughs> what wow, crazy. How could I paraphrase this again? <laughs> <laughs> Today, yeah. sun came out because of you. <laughs> GM. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of relatives in my that. WhatsApp group who could meet yeah. uh, this requirement. She's like, it's a sub romantic. 
good morning to you too uncle yeah. <laughs> how did you find a new way to say this new butterfly has been added to this yeah. photo nice and now for the final act <laughs> I uh, I was th- I was thinking while you guys were talking and I don't I don't have a clear answer to this. I think the my the ideal relationship for me would be where I don't feel like I'm I, I'm imposing myself. Like I I think my problem like over a, a long period of time has been you know with in in these situations specifically and with friends also that I I get very conscious of whether I'm taking too much space or you know too much time and uh, yeah I think the best relationship would be where I don't that one part I don't have to worry about. Yeah. and i think other things of course you know can work huh. out around it yeah, mm. yeah that's my answer no, <laughs> hey man well said man same well just said. encapsulated well said. in three sentences Ooh, exact yeah. same i think yeah. one idea that's also emerging is that you want to be in some way healed by yeah. the people you date which may not be fair to them that you're I, expecting i think i don't think they're consciously healing you just yeah. them being themselves heals you so it's yeah. not a strain on them No, but I, I agree. Like uh, th- what what you said also is kind of I think what Shamik and even I are saying is I think uh, people like us feel like we are we put a lot of effort to be acceptable to people. Mm. Yeah. And for once, it'll be nice if I drop that, you're mm. still there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I don't have to do it with you. Like. Yeah. I don't have to adjust. I don't have to be overly polite. I don't have to be uh, su- super. uh sorted and on top of things can i just be a little mess yeah. in front of you is that okay yeah mm. not all the time sometimes yeah when i'm yeah so i think it's the same thing uh yeah nice okay that's nice and wholesome now we have <clears throat> yes this question is also little sorry i to but for you back. picked up all the Yeah. yeah. So this is my full, question. The heavy ones. People. Yeah. This is little heavy. Yeah. Sorry, I put too heavy back Man. to back. This is what. Like what it. insight have you learned about love from your parents? I'll just put that Ooh. right there. Ooh. I'll just put it right there on the table right there. Right, I'm out. Man. <laughs> Man. No, you don't have to specify the situation of your parents. You can just be like, okay, interesting. This is from my observations of parents. Yeah. <laughs> uh because uh i feel like i learned more about love hmm. away from my parents like parents was my first introduction yeah, yeah. to relationship then i saw no other <laughs> i was going to say normal people <laughs> 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 then i saw other people like oh okay okay there yeah. are new uh, new variations of love like i see young couples and it blows my mind like during your life only you get to see how your relationship of your parents with each other evolves from when you were younger till now or till later and basically like in any relationship long enough has some wear right so even this the idealized notion we were talking about earlier about like uh, you should uh, is like unconditional you're giving everything you yeah. don't expect anything and there is no sense of attachment but all that is not like it's not practical yeah, yeah. practically yeah. and our parents didn't have access to fucking podcasts <laughs> <laughs> so they were just uh, thrust into marriage as an inevitability when they were young and they had to make a best they had yeah. to make in some sense the best of a situation that they got right yeah. and in that i think there's a lot to learn from why people find love you know yeah. perhaps it wasn't there on the first day you know yeah. for some people perhaps it was perhaps it was just attraction that you know when you go on five first five dates with someone yeah. it was that but it was a marriage yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. and so the thing you get to learn i think over time is to see how your parents do adjust to each other and to be like this was a problem when i was younger and it's not a problem now yeah that they've talked about this and uh, and you'll also see like the non negotiables that there are some problems that they have left as problems yeah. Yeah. and they hum nahi solve karenge yeah. this will be our yeah. issue every day yeah and they find themselves in that and the same fight every day yeah yeah, yeah. with some there is like a lot yeah. of like safety in the fact that they're like this uh, the acceptance of what they have is permanent hmm. so you know i think when people get older also they become more and more honest <laughs> Yeah. yeah so that relationship also becomes more and more honest it has to become yeah where your parents will say things <laughs> about each other yeah. you're like wow it's <laughs> a lot yeah. <laughs> so marriage has not come up in my house like the idea of me getting married or my sister getting married they don't ask that's really cool um 
I, they're a little bit scared of my sister and she's older so i think <laughs> so they don't ask my sister they don't ask me and i was sitting with uh, my mom and her sisters in uh, uh, a little while ago and the subject of marriage came up and so i was like this is going to come they're going to ask me to so they were like you know if you can get married this 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 is i was like yeah but if you do a cost benefit analysis okay <laughs> i was just i just as a joke i said if you do cost benefit it really doesn't seem like it's worth it no and unanimously they were like yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool so that level of honesty <laughs> still happily married but still be like this fucking marriage yeah. <laughs> once in a while yeah. you know you get to see perhaps what in you are in like your parents in some ways that you realize in many ways you don't realize yeah and so maybe that's like you get to see a little bit of simulation of yeah. what perhaps the course your relationship might take yeah i've i've had a similar insight about having kids hmm. like you ask a parent like how is it like how is it have worth having a kid and all they're like are you stupid what kind of question is this hmm. it's not about if it's a good idea yeah. <laughs> it's what you do yeah it's yeah. just kid is there now yeah <laughs> <laughs> nobody was sat down and did pros and cons yeah like no, nobody sat down and did pros and cons of having kid it's like that's not the question you ask is like how do we deal with this now <laughs> that's the question so yeah, yeah it's not like um, yeah um, but yeah i think for for me it was this what you said is like i think our parents were just like this is my person it's not a perfect person but it's mm. my person this is what it is yeah and mm. uh, till they are alive till they are on this planet this is my job and i will do the best i can yeah um and and I, and as you said the second thing is i really admire the honesty yeah mm. you know i'm i'm wondering when trace and i will reach that stage yeah where we're in that uh, that common interest thing you said mm. we're in that where mm. if i'm like hey this is like my favorite movie can we please watch it she'll be like okay okay <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then when she's showing it i'm fucking tuning out yeah. when i'm watching some romantic comedy that she likes uh but i'm like you know this is important to her Correct. but i'm curious what stage we'll reach where i'll be like okay you started a thing okay 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 <laughs> then i'm going for walk <laughs> <laughs> you watch your wrong kind of yeah, yeah. okay okay <laughs> yeah where where they like uh, be laga dena zara nahi yeah so we have a it is fascinating that stage where it's like nice. oh there's there's no middle ground here you do mm. your thing i'll do my thing yeah so that's also very funny <clears throat> Uh, I think one thing to to answer this question one thing I do that comes up to me is from my parents I've seen that no matter how big the argument is mm-hmm. if you sleep and wake up the next day there is some <laughs> reset button which is being pressed <laughs> yeah. and you move on like you have to do life you have to do yeah. other things yeah. and that's the thing that because I see it on a regular basis you get to a place where you're like okay okay this seems like this is unsolvable at 9 pm <laughs> <laughs> but tomorrow we'll find a way maybe won't solve it it's yeah. still there underneath but i'm saying you move you you don't let other things in life stop because yeah. the argument is unresolved that's something they have figured out how to do it's not ideal i would i'm sure in a relationship but you know yeah that's how they deal with it and sometimes i think you have to cuz otherwise your whole life will stop hmm. because of that issue like uh, some problems just are problems yeah it won't be solved My dad has been trying to get my mom to exercise for 39 years. <laughs> and every day he talks about it like it's a new problem. And every day my mom passionately answers it like she's answering it for the first time. Hey, I'm tired. <laughs> 39 years. <dude. laughs> it's incredible. Oh, Same fight every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so let's just see closing. Mm, I should answer. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. No, no, I want to answer. answer. <laughs> No I think no I don't know how to uh, I think he's already phrased it very well I think the one thing I uh, would add is that my I think my parents were a good team in the sense they were both working and even though of course there were compatibility issues and it was like like ev- all of our, their generation but I think all the annoying traits of my mother really you know like she would really reuse them to help my father in the sense my father was introvert would not talk to people would be rude but when it came to say getting something done get, getting a transfer done for example talking to people who are annoying my mother would go and do it similarly my mother was not that enthusiastic about working but my father really pushed her and she had to she, she had a transferable job so she would keep <coughs> like getting posted either or there and my father would be the one who would be at home 
taking care of us so like they really you know like even though they annoyed each other they really made this system work very well with their uh, weird you know polar traits and yeah i mean that's a great thing because typically when we look for people we're looking for more we we are looking for people who are very similar to us okay we not mm. we, we actually are like okay this is one annoying trait and i have to really mute it down for me to really like this person yeah. but i've really seen great synergy with annoyance is what mm-hmm. i'm trying to say that it well, really so made nice. work yeah but they yeah. also they had this thing which you said which is there is a it's there's a permanence to it it's yeah. already there and once that's there but that just changes everything the way you look at the relationship mm-hmm. is not like we're not even coming at it anymore with yeah. that approach in as in area. as in it's like oh we don't touch the fact that we have to separate the you this yeah. is the situation yeah. Yeah. we're together how the hell do we make this okay so that's what you're saying that's what i'm saying yeah. uh, so i mean if let's assume the couple has that clarity if we want to use that positive spin on that <laughs> situation and <laughs> let's try that um then i mean uh, I, i personally cannot get into a relationship with that approach yeah right so and this is also not to say that splitting up is not the right idea for some people yeah. for some people could greatly greatly benefit from yes. not being yeah there are some yes. things that are just yeah. genuinely yeah. not solvable and you're very bad for each other and it will be better for all parties involved yeah. yeah if you separate yeah yeah there is some paradox here but it seems like yeah um so <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> she's like yes i love divorce <laughs> 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 My love language is divorce. <laughs> <laughs> this is part of Elaris. You're just talking so seriously. She's just like. <laughs> I was just thinking of something completely different. <laughs> Sorry for. She's tuning out. She's zoned this out. This is tuning out. Not tuning out. She just. I tried to think about my parents' come marriage, and I was like. <laughs> She's just being entertained. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Karan. Um, you cut you off. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Divorce. You're not saying that uh, yes, separating is bad. Yeah. So, uh, I think the the uh, the idea is that somewhere you have to uh, decide one of two things, and it seems like a paradox. Uh, the idea that um, sure, in some <coughs> cases, it would make sense that you shouldn't be with any a person anymore because what you have together is not good for either of you, and so that's one possibility. But the other possibility seems to be that there is a lot of merit in going. Uh, completely involving yourself in the relationship in as in the sense of having total surrender and investing in it completely as if this will last forever uh, having that attitude i think will greatly benefit a relationship also but also there's the flip side of the coin of like oh, sure if you have that attitude then you will be willing to and ready to solve any problem and make anything work but there is some line which where that is not good for you yeah. and i suppose some wisdom will carry you through that question yeah uh, like there, there's this i think there's two approaches to it like some people just work from to re- rephrase what you're saying inside out like relationship first and then from that everything else branches out yeah. so I, i can remember this couple i knew in college like they became a couple in the first year and then that was mm. they were a couple and everything else mm. depended on what the couple decided to do <laughs> as a couple yeah and then but there's a lot of people who just they like no my job and my career and all that this is just another piece mm. of it and it all needs to come together so those are just two different approaches i, I mean one the best analogy i ever heard for like making a relationship work i read in some book i don't remember the name where you it's like it was having a pet and when your pet for example like rips up rips apart the couch your first reaction is not oh this dog wanted to hurt me <laughs> <laughs> that's also because that's it's a dog dude. yeah no no but like your spouse rips apart like, the yeah, couch yeah also cutting up your college degree you're like <laughs> No, but I feel like this is not no, for these stressing. But no, I think the analogy was we as we immediately our first assumption is, oh, they just made a mistake, and yeah. they're not out to get me. They're not out okay. to make my life horrible. They did something, and it's inconveniencing me. But I still love them. Yeah. If we can be so patient with our pets, if we can just put that little bit in your relationship, that if they fuck up, your first reaction shouldn't be like this person is out to make my life horrible. It's like no, no, they made a mistake. and be a little kind because we are the same team we we love each other which is a, again this is assuming that the partner is not toxic because mm. then you could keep forgiving forgiving and you just life is shit yeah so shida are you what is this funny <laughs> speaking of toxic 
<laughs> so I, I was just thinking about how my parents almost on a regular basis repeat the same stories oh, over and over again the yeah. and they'll stories. both react to each other in like a very fresh ha ha yeah yeah i remember that every every time they're reciting the same incident and every time they're reacting like like a like it's a new story mm. like which is like i was like okay ye yeah. I'm Something sure stand-up comedians do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If we were telling a fresh audience, this is the same yeah. audience, same storyteller. That's and a secret. They're just yeah. Be supportive. So I was just remembering one of those. So that's what you feel is like one big positive of. Yeah. Well, I, actually, there's there's a lot. There's just the intense, like what you all discussed in various. Just the intense amount of duty to each other. Like it's just. Like to the point that you don't trust anyone else if something happens to that person. Like, just imagine when my mom was hospitalized. It's like no one else can interfere now. My dad will take all the decisions. Correct. Yeah. He will decide. He will stay there every night at the hospital, and so it's like to the point that only you trust only yourself to take care of that person. So it's like dad I can also go you shut up <laughs> you I don't trust <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was literally that ki tum tum rao ghar pe yeah that's nice okay so, yeah. so this is the last question i apologize for two heavy questions back no worries, to you so some fun i have one fun oh, question no. i put for you guys hey i love your work this is a guy who loves me a lot i won't uh, name the person because i'm assuming you should be anonymous <laughs> Love you work. There's a guy who loves me a lot and openly confessed it many times. Hmm. <clears throat> But see him as a mere male best friend. I don't know if they're trolling me because yeah. it is too funny this comment. Mere, mere. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is this is a girl who's uh, openly rejecting the male best friend. Mere. Mere male best friend. I have told him the same, but he's determined to not stop loving me. <laughs> What a loser! On the other hand, <laughs> there is another guy who. I liked a lot, and I found out later he likes me too. But then, when we both started dating, I hated the feeling of being in a relationship as I've seen a very toxic relationship up close, and I have no belief in true love. Okay. One fine day, I ended up kissing the best friend and the other guy on the same day. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> Am I you know a bad happens? person? Is that the question? What <laughs> happens, dude? Am I the yeah. asshole? Yeah. Now I am stuck between them, and I have no clue how to let go of both of them. <laughs> Love oh. listening to long record of you talking. Is, no is this Bella Ooh. from Twilight? <laughs> <laughs> dude, what the fuck? This is a yeah. full movie, dude. This yeah, is a, this is a classic. So I am Team <laughs> Jacob or whatever. So she's in love with neither. No, I don't want to let go of yeah, both. So, she said. So now she's saying I don't want to let go of either, which <laughs> means now the first thing she said that she's not into this guy, and he, even though he likes her, is not true anymore. Yeah, right? she doesn't hold anymore. And she also said she doesn't like being in a relationship because she's been in a toxic relationship and she doesn't believe in. This love thing, so. तो उसको दोनों को रखना है और relationship भी नहीं करना. नहीं चाहिए. It's uh, unsolvable. बहुत <laughs> demand है लोगों के लिए. Hey, which is my camera? This one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a camera. Hey, you'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, there's so much we don't know about the situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but she you know, is, she's seen a toxic relationship up close, so she couldn't have been in one. Could have been just like parents. Yeah, I think, think that's what it means. Like it's, it's trauma. Yeah. From some place else. Yeah. From some place else. Yeah. That's why his belief. तो नहीं करना तो ना करे relationship सही बात है सब सिरा सच वच बोल के रखे बस मुझे बस इतना ही add करना है अपने experience से यार I mean you have to यो यो you don't want a relationship but you don't want to lose them so I guess you you gotta make them both your friends at this point and you can kiss once in a while. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. they are okay with that, and yeah. everyone's okay with everyone kissing everyone, you gotta allow them to kiss each other if they want. <laughs> yes. to also, everyone needs to be cool with it. Yeah. And then, yeah. if it works, it works. That's it. You know what I like about this question is this is what happens when you just you're like fuck it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fuck it. it, it yeah. An anarchy chaos. <laughs> I'm just going to whatever my body wants. I will do. <laughs> and it's just fascinating because it never ends up well. And there's a point where, uh, like, it's happened. Now, when I, even I, I've gone through this, where you sometimes just like, fuck it, bro, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. And then it always <laughs> comes back to haunt you. But I think that is what youth is for. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To do yeah. this shit, I'm like, oh, never doing this shit again. Yeah. <laughs> where there's uh, instant gratification never leads to 
mm-hmm. uh, peace of mind yeah uh, where you just like maybe no one will find out <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, it'll be, it'll be fine don't worry about it yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So jhoot nahi bola like. So but uh, but in general yes, yeah. attitude is to to be uh, honest. Try to be uh, honest. Try to be honest. honest and don't cheat. But could could to evaluate kar le wo kis baat ke bare mein honest hogi. See I don't think she knows where what she's doing. <laughs> oh she's like <laughs> correct <laughs> one has to process what they're feeling and yeah. doing, to be honest. Yeah but, because I don't understand so now where does she stand on her feelings for her best friend? Yeah. Yeah she's not given us much detail. Yeah like maybe she's not feeling fulfilled in the relationship so the best friend was a good support. Uh, lips wise. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> no, there's a lot this of this hearing uh, where uh, p- people are in a common relationship and one other person is uh, having a bad day, so they go to console them. Kiss ho gaya. Kiss ho gaya. Kiss ho gaya. Aye ho gaya. Kiss ho gaya. I know where he is hurt. It's just lip- <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the second, second story I've heard. Lip uh-huh. service. <laughs> yeah. Because because uh, I'm just like I have had bad days and uh, mm-hmm. I've had my friends console me. Kanan's never kiss me once, dude. <laughs> you kiss me. Once. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What? Whoa. Three out of three. Mention it every time. The fact that Kanan Sebastian planted oh fucked into that yeah. smooch on my lips. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll do you're, the story before you do it. You're so the only guy I've ever kissed, Kanan. So that's, you, that's such a tragedy. You, you have an you answer. <laughs> Please answer. Yeah, please tell us. How did you maintain what? this friendship yeah, after that? That's the that's the thing. He just denies it. Let go of anyone. He just denies it. What is it? Or you not let go of anyone, Kanan? Yeah, <laughs> you've done it. Oh yeah, that's true. You that's true. I'm this. actually living her life. Exactly. <laughs> that's true. I sent that message. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just so that Kanan doesn't do a Kenny. fucked up retelling of it yeah we were doing sketchy behavior there's one scene can you send one second <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> don't interrupt I like, I don't interrupt <laughs> <laughs> don't interrupt so his lips are so thin dude <laughs> that's my enduring memory is you can look at his lips it's the like uh, gigantic I mean, yeah. yeah luscious <laughs> can you thin cold lips <laughs> you'll add up both extremes of lips. yeah you'll add up to two correct <laughs> size lips together <laughs> <laughs> no like it's It'll like an average yeah it's just like a mount, mountain range and i have an umbrella it's like that's the <laughs> level of coverage difference but um, why you need an umbrella in a mountain range no it's like the mountain range surface area and my umbrella surface area oh like that so small <laughs> small go <laughs> i don't know <laughs> speed breaker and mountain range yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah speed breaker yeah, that's, that's a better that's answer a nice <laughs> thank you shija read right uh, of that so in that sketch in the end mm. i jump on him and i have to kiss him mm. so i put my hand on his uh, face and i kiss and i know you're joking i don't do it but <laughs> you put his hand here dude <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like abhi fir kya hoga i jumped on him and my hand was like this oh, and man. i kissed and i like lips touched a little bit oh and he never has let never it go it. of course man <laughs> every day i want to talk about it kenny <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to talk about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you do have a fever like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man anyway on that note we'll end this episode <laughs> uh thank you so much for tuning in and uh thank you so much guys all of you are also touring by the way uh can i just finish my can this finished mm. shrija you're touring yeah i'm touring with my solo nice a uh, princess a superiority complex Con- <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah yeah that's what so you to call me also <laughs> 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 yeah what are you uh, do you have your dates it's, so oh this is coming out abhi only it's coming out on 17th 17th oh to so 17th ko to i'll be in hyderabad and then chennai on 18th and then 5th pune yeah that's it these are the 5th pune okay yeah. sweet and uh, prashasti thank you so much for coming and you're also touring yeah yeah very similar dates actually no yeah. but <laughs> 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 but don't got to choose different cities different <laughs> cities yeah 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 uh, the show is called durkhadi sharma uh, 18 and 19 hyderabad and bangalore then pune then uh, gujarat and then i mean i'm touring till end of march so yeah. oh sweet
So you attend Shamik? You're also touring? Yes, uh, it's called Shamik Chakrabarti Live. No one Great. else is doing it. No what, is, what, is, what is it about? <laughs> <laughs> it's a narrative issue. <dish. laughs> I don't know yet. You, it's live. <laughs> we find out on the day. Nice. But uh, my, I'm, I'm doing Nagpur on the day this releases, 17th. If this comes out by then. And if not, there's Thane after that. And uh, Hyderabad, Chennai and Bangalore in March. So do come out for those shows. Thank you. No, it's nice. I'm also touring. So my uh, dates are on KennySebastian.com. Yes. <laughs> One last time. <laughs> Everything is there. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. It's also on all audio platforms. So you can hear this. If you don't want to see our faces and miss out on all the magical expressions we made. And the reds. Yeah, and the reds. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Your questions were lovely. Uh, we had a great time. And thank you for supporting it for three years. Awesome. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Ta -ta. It's time for simple. It's time for simple. It's time.